Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Alex Hubbard and I'm an automotive enthusiast. Tonight we're going to be looking at these uh, Last Fit LED uh, lights for my 2017 Ram 1500. Uh, Last Fit was kind enough to uh, contact me and send these out for me to try. So we're going to work on putting these into the Ram tonight and, uh, and see how they look. I'm hoping they're uh, going to be a lot brighter than the stock bulbs. I have a long driveway that I back up and some extra light would be... Uh, real great to uh you know to for visibility purposes and so i'm hoping uh putting these in is going to help quite a bit the bulbs we're looking at tonight from last fit they're uh, part number l t15 white they're reverse light um they're can bus ready which means they are ready to uh go into a newer vehicle um, that monitors the, the lighting systems. Um, there, there's no polarity to them, so you can't plug them in wrong. Um, really, for, for the 2017 Ram we're working on tonight, the only thing you really need is a, uh, is a T20 Torx bit, and um, that's, that's pretty much it. They're pretty easy to install, so uh, let's take a look. This is literally the only tool that you need to install these bulbs in this truck. It's, got a, it's a, just a screwdriver handle with a T20 Torx bit. We are going to take out these two T20 bolts here, and then the tail light just comes out. We'll take our tail light out here. It slides towards you like this. There are some tabs in there that need to uh, slide out. We can change this reverse bulb with the tail light still in the truck. You'll just pinch the top of the connector and slide it out like that. We'll turn the holder and this is what the stock bulb looks like. Come over here. Um, you don't really want to get your oils, your hand oils that are on your hands on these bulbs um, if you're going to reuse them. So we'll, we'll pull our bulb out there and grab our package of last fit uh, LED bulbs. Boxies here. All right, so it's a bit of a snug fit. <coughs> so we've got those in there like this, or we've got this one in there like this, and uh, now we're gonna basically follow the reverse procedure to put it back in the truck. Come back over to our tail light here. Put the knob in there, or the uh, housing in there, in the uh, the bulb in the housing. Turn it about a quarter of a turn. And we'll plug the plug the harness back in here. I'm gonna leave this. See if hopefully see if I can see this from the driver's seat real quick. We had a little technical difficulty here. Um, I had the door open while I had my foot on the brake, and the truck was in reverse. Um, and unfortunately, it's starting to rain here, so we got to move a little quick. Um, I couldn't get the light to come on and I'm remembering that this truck throws the transmission back into park when the door is open. It's a stupid update that Chrysler has. Um, it's a whole nother story for another day. Um, so I ended up having to close the door and I left the, I left the lead for the uh, reverse light out so that I could see it in the mirror to see if it came on and it did. Uh, I was having a little trouble at first so if you run into that uh, it might just be that the door needs to be closed. It's a silly update. From so we'll put our fixture back in. Give it a twist. Connector back on. And we're going to slide our tail light in here just like so. And while I've got this out, I'll show you. You can see these are the little tabs it has to slide into. These are the little tabs it has to slide into, and those are the grooves on the tail light that have to go into those tabs, well, that those tabs have to go into. So we've got to line it up. Just like so, there we go. All right, once we got those lined up, we can put our T20 bolts back in here screwdriver go place tighten these guys up there 
and there we go. So it was pretty easy to change the uh, tail light bulb or the reverse light uh, bulbs on this 2017 Ram 1500. Uh, I'm going to put the other side back together with the original bulb and we're going to put it in reverse and see you know what it looks like as far as the aftermarket LED bulb versus the stock halogen bulb. On the left hand side we have the aftermarket LED light from last fit. In the right hand side we have the OEM halogen bulb uh, which is produced by GE for the Ram 1500. I'm going to go start the truck up and put it in reverse and see which light looks better. Well, I think from the previous clip, you can clearly see that the aftermarket LED reverse light is significantly brighter than the OEM stock halogen bulb. Now that we've got a good comparison down, let's change the uh, passenger side uh, reverse light back to the L-T15 last fit reverse light LED bulb and uh, see what it looks like. This side is, and I've already got it partially apart because I ran into some technical issues. Um, same thing to take it apart. T20 uh, Torx bit, two screws. Pops out just like the other side did. Slide it back towards you. Disconnect the harness. Twist it about a quarter of a turn. Now the halogen bulb is out. Be very gentle with your tail light. Now we'll take our last fit bulb and snugly push that in. These bulbs actually are, um, I thought they'd be a little bit more flimsy when I first saw them, but they're actually pretty well built and um, I, I mean, I've been pretty impressed with them so far. So now we'll put our bulb back in here just like so reconnect the harness slide the tail light back into the truck like so put our t20s back in here i just put them finger tight at first the t20s tail light back in go nice and snug let's go fire up and see what she looks like with both of them in this is the test with both the last fit l-t15 led tail light uh, reverse bulbs in the ram 1500 just completed installing the bulbs into our 2017 Ram 1500 that last fit provided to me uh, free of charge uh, thank you guys very much for sending them out I'm very appreciative um, to have the opportunity to test these out um, the channel has kind of been uh, getting a little bit of attention lately and um, I'm very appreciative of that if you guys like these videos uh, please make sure you like and subscribe below send me a note uh, leave me a comment on any of the videos um, there's definitely more coming apologize content's been kind of lax lately I've had some family stuff going on so um, working to get more content on the Dart, on the Mustang, the Ram, the Jeep, um, all those uh, vehicles, even the F-150. I've got more stuff coming. It's just taking me time. Uh, as I think Rich Rebuild says, I have a full-time job <laughs> and a family uh, as well. So uh, YouTube is for me. Uh, I'm trying to make that more of a uh, 
more than just a hobby, but it's, it's taken me a lot of time to, to do so. So yeah, really appreciate it. If you guys can like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Um, if you like these last fit bulbs, I'll put a link in the description on where you can get them. Um, I'm pretty happy with them so far. I can't wait to see what they look like after dark. Um, I have a very long driveway that I will occasionally back up, mostly in the winter time um, for other reasons. Um, and the stock lights were pretty, uh, they're pretty weak and it's been on my list of things to do to get some brighter lights and last fit happened to reach out and say hey are you guys you interested in testing some bulbs and i said yeah sure let's do it and um you know so I, i've been pretty happy with it so far they've been very responsive um this is not a paid placement uh they they did send me the bulbs but it's you know it was, it was for me to test out etc so um been happy with them can't wait to see what they do after dark stay tuned guys we'll show you some more